today I'm here with a new video and today I am talking about palettes and I want to recommend five palettes that is either green, blue or blue and green and I have done one like, I don't know if it was five but I talked about colorful palettes if you like want to start your collection and I am thinking about doing maybe a little mini series. I know I start a lot and I do not continue with them where I talk about different palettes and what I think is good so today I want to talk about green and blue palettes and I have more green and blue palettes that I like but these I like the most and yeah I think we just hop into this I don't know if I should start with I have one blue one green two two green, one blue, and two blue and green. I think I will maybe start with the blue one. And if you not have guessed it, it is of course the Blue Moon palette from Colourpop. It's what I have used today. This, I think this is an amazing palette if you want to start to use blue. It's nine shades and they all have a blue sheen to them. To them, to them. It's not like all over blue but it is all over blue i can see that yes but i think this is such a good way to start i think color pops monochromatic palette is a so good way to go if you want to try a new color because they are only 12 dollars and they are really good quality and it is both like this deeper blues and the lighter blues and the ones that go more to the purple so I think this is an amazing palette to start with if you want to go into blue shadows but you don't want to spend too much money because maybe you will hate it that's always hard when you like trying to win to a new color and also I think it is a good variation of matte and shimmers. So if you want to try blue, I can really, really recommend Blue Moon from Colourpop. So then if we go into the greens, and I have two greens as I said, and we can continue with Colourpop. And this is just my luck. This, I love this palette. It looks like this. So this is also nine shades. And I love this. I think this has everything that you need from a green palette um it has some like of these shades that are like not super green but i think they work and this palette is amazing <laughs> it is such a good quality and you have your darker green you have some lighter greens you have green shimmers you have like green green and you have like brownish olivey green and you have more like yellowy green so this I think is the same as blue moon it's affordable it is super good quality it's a good variation and you can use this with your other palettes if you just want to have a little pop of green so this I can really recommend if you want to try green to start out with green. Other green-ish palette is the Kaleidos Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. If you didn't know that, I love Kaleidos. They do some of my absolute favorite shadows of all time. So the Sci-Fi Green looks like this and I feel that this has... In the Lixom, in the Lixom, in the Lixom, what? I feel that this is a good, I don't know how to show it because it's, that's the only thing I don't like with Kaleidos. It's hard to show the palettes. What I love about this is I love like mustard shades and a little bit more to the grungy, mustardy, greenish yellow. And these two are perfect for that, but also the green shades in this and this shimmer green. Amazing. And I think this is good if you maybe want to go to green, but you don't want like super bright. It's not bright greens as in the Just My Luck. And it's not that many, but these are some amazing formulas and this palette is... It's so good and even though these look 
kind of similar in the pan. I think you can still see a difference between them when you have them on your eyes. And this, I, I just love this palette. And I think if you want to try green, you should try this because it's amazing. And this black one, it's one of the best blacks I own. So sci-fi green from Kaleidos, I can really recommend. And then we have the two mixed palettes. First off is the Whale Song palette from Minority Cosmetics. This is not my favorite. I love the other palette more. It looks like this. So this is 12 pens. And this, I think it is good. It's, it's a good mix between green and blue. And also it has two amazing like grungy shades. This plankton and this kelp. If you are like that, if you like the grunge way. The only thing I'm missing from this is I would want a more brighter blue shimmer. But other than that, this palette is really good. I think I've done Free Looks 1 palette with this. I am 99% sure. No, I have done it. The shadows are really, really good even. This darker blue is really good, and this one is really good as well, and this fluke is amazing. And I feel that you can do a green look, you can do a blue blue look with this easily. You don't have to be an expert, because I'm not. I think this is a really good way. I think you can get your use out of this palette, even maybe if you don't like blue that much. I think you still can get your use and money out of this. I think this is a great choice if you want to be able to do only green look or only blue look because you have lighter greens and darker greens and lighter blue and darker blues. So this one is really really good. I think this may be my favorite palette from Menardry. I don't know but maybe it's such a good palette and I really like the shape of this. That's a big plus. Okay, and the last one. This is like one of my absolute favorite palettes ever. It's the Oceanic by Ace Boutet. And this one... As you see, this has more greens than blues. And it has some... That is like typical my colors, like this one. This is one of my absolute favorite colors in my whole collection. And also this one is, it is this bright green on your eyes as well. And this one goes together with this one. So good. And also with this, the darker blues, like this blue clam. That is an amazing blue shade. And blue shades are... Sometimes really really easy to work with like this one, but sometimes they are like the hardest shade you can Try to work with But this blue is so good and also this they feel a little bit dry, but they are so so good and This I would recommend if you want to use more green than blue because it's more It's more of the green ones, but this if I'm going to recommend one of these palettes, I would say this one. This is my absolute favorite palette when it comes to greens and blues and it is just amazing. I don't know what more to say. I haven't used all the shades yet, I don't think. No, but I've used most of them. So if you are going to buy one of these palettes, I would recommend this because this is my absolute favorite green and blue palette. And yeah, I think that was all. It feels like a really short video. I was like, okay, I'm going to talk forever. I have not. But I really hope you like this and if you want me to, I can do top, maybe not top, but five palettes like in the orange that I recommend and orange and yellow maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I have that like can categorize them. I don't know. Maybe I can. But I really hope you like this video and if you want more videos like this please let me know and I will of course fix it. So yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!